In this video, I'm going to show you how you can become conversational and also later fluent in any language using ChatGPT and the language islands technique, right? This is a list of topics for conversation that I got from ChatGPT. Basically, what you have to do is uh, write a prompt, uh, give me a list of topics people usually talk about. Give me a list of interactions people usually have, etc. So I've done uh, several different lists. One of topics, yeah, weather, travel, books and literature, movies, TV shows. This is all AI generated conversation topics. The second list, so basically, I ask for a list of things people normally talk about. Then usual interactions people have in their daily lives. Greetings with family and friends, good morning, afternoon, how are you, blah, 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 at work, at school, uh, mealtime, hobbies and free time. Yeah, talking to people in the gym, talking to people in the street, this and that. It'll give you a list of those things. Then another one, and this is very important, a list of uh, situations where you might have to talk to people when traveling. This is going to be very useful if you like to travel and you want to speak the local language. So you get a list of situations in which you'll have to speak the language. You might have to, or you might want to. Uh, yeah. Destinations, check-in, check-out, hotel, restaurants, asking for directions, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and also another list of conversation topics. Now, what do we do? We, when it comes to language islands, we should work on several levels. Just the surface level, the shallow, basic, small talk stuff, which is this. Yeah, I always use the same one or similar one. I can just adapt it a little bit for each language. Uh, greetings, introducing yourself, where you're from, basic information about yourself and why you're learning the language. That like, should be like 100 to a couple hundred sentences. And once you learn them, it should be more than enough to like, make a good impression, have some people will like you if you speak the language. It's pretty good. Uh, also, good enough for basic uh, interactions. That's, that's already enough. Uh, then we've got situations, and here what we'll do is take the this one, uh, situations, daily situations, right? We've got two types of situations. We've got the daily ones, or common ones, and then the traveling ones. Unless your daily life involves traveling, then just put them all together. But uh, this should be for traveling. This should be for this, yeah, talking to people at work, blah, blah, blah. So what you should do is not go sentence by uh, topic by topic. What you should do is uh, pick one, yeah, talking about friends and family. And you start with that, or maybe you don't want to talk with friends and family. You want to uh, talk about, like, you want to talk about, uh, not about, uh, you you need to practice conversations in a restaurant because that's where you spend most of your time for whatever reason or, uh, or in a coffee shop or whatever. Um, start with the most likely ones. Start with the situations that you find yourself in most often. So for me, that would be the gym, for example, much more often than... I mean, I'm not going to lie. I go to bars and restaurants quite a lot. Um, but uh, for example, I wouldn't... I don't know. There, there are some other situations I, I, that I never face. Like, uh, I would never talk about like, personal well-being. How are you taking care of yourself? Well, yeah. You see, it's it's AI, so not all of it will, will be good. So you just choose the ones that will be useful. Start with the most common ones, the ones you're most, most likely to use. And for that situation, write down everything. So let's say... Uh, gym and everything you would say in a gym or you think you'll have to say in a gym to anyone and you write everything here and then 
or whatever language you're trying to learn. I'm not going to learn Spanish, obviously. Um, you write as much as you can, then you copy it, paste it in DeepL or Google Translate, and then paste the translation here. And we start memorizing the sentences. Read it aloud over and over again. Use the scriptorium technique. Use the translation technique until you've uh, memorized the whole list and you're able to say them all when you need them. Then you do the same thing with the next uh, situation that's useful for you, and so on and so forth. This is for basic conversations. Uh, what you should do is just go all the way, uh, yeah, here, 100, and then you go to conversations. Uh, once you've got the basic interactions small talk covered, you start working on deeper, more meaningful and longer conversations. Obviously, it's going to be harder. Longer means uh, more complex language, a lot more vocab that you need to learn. But still, it's worth it if you want to end up uh, speaking the language fluently. So you, I never talk about the weather, for example. A lot of people love, love talk, talking about the weather. I, I don't talk about the weather at all. Um, traveling. OK, so we, oh, yeah. I was already talking about traveling there. So travel, and I write as much as I can about traveling. Then, uh, whatever. What do you do for, for a living? What's your job? What's your business? Blah, blah, blah. You write as much as you can about that. And translate it. Start learning it. And you keep doing the same thing. Again, not starting from the first topic. Start from the topic that you find the most useful, that you're most likely to talk about. And then you move on to the, slowly back to the second uh, most useful and the third and so on. And the, the ones that you don't find useful, just don't learn them. You avoid the topic. And if you do this with enough sentences, yeah, learn like 50 to 100 new sentences a day for practical scenarios, conversations, situations. In three months, you will be speaking the language pretty well in most common scenarios. And it's as simple as that. Yeah, you could come up with everything, but uh, using AI for this will give you uh, more to work with. Because if you don't, you might uh, leave out some important situations or conversations that you simply didn't think of. And uh, then when you find yourself in one of those, you won't have anything to say. Disclaimer, as always, combine this with massive amounts of reading and listening. Yeah, The more and out, you need both input and output. So input is reading and listening. You, if you listen to this over, uh, if you read this over and over again, and if you g uh, create a, an audio file with some text to voice, uh, Software, great. Listen to it over and over again. Read it aloud over and over again because you have to actively say things if you want to get good at speaking. Um, translate it aloud as well. Look at the English, try to say it in Spanish, check if you say it correctly. And then do extra listening and reading because you, if you only learn this, the moment you start like, using vocabulary that's not included here, you'll be lost. So you need to, to to end up understanding the language well. You need a lot of listening with authentic materials, yeah? So again, use this for quickly improving your conversation skills, but don't forget to get massive amounts of reading and listening with authentic materials uh, in the target language. Stuff that native speakers read and listen to. You need a lot of that to get good at the language. And that's it. Um, if you've been watching all of this, uh, if you've watched the whole thing and when you want to apply this, uh, good luck. You can join my course and I'll guide you step by step through the whole process. You can join one of my workshops as well or contact me and get one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to speed up the process. You can try on your own. Um, and see how it goes. I know people who have done it on their own. If you're very disciplined and you know what you're doing, you can follow my videos and 
results will come as long as you stay consistent and you do the work. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give it a like, share, subscribe, all the stuff, and see you next time.